Hi everybody. Yes, in front of the camera there we got a PT. And here we got two wires that soon will be tested on high voltage. Let's see how good they can handle it. This one here is 15 kV and that one here is 1000 kV. So yes, let's see how they work and if they can handle the PT. And here's the setup. They've got one output, also that insulator and it goes to that point that the two, two wires are connected and they're standing on an insulator so they don't so they aren't connected on the floor and here's another one it's identical to that one and on that side we got the another output which goes on this uh, surge arrester and it's actually not a good idea to use these things as a standoff but I'm going to use it anyway because that wire is actually rated for a thousand volts so I don't want that laying on the floor and the same thing with the chicken stick it's on that little insulator as well so it's just, if you saw my video on Tristan high voltage channel I got test I tested uh, these insulators with some water and high voltage I'm going to put the link in the description for it but in this video I'm going to show how these wires can handle it so I have my uh, uh, PT hooked up to the variac there's a connector and it goes into the PT and let's turn it on let's test on 100 volts that so yes now there is uh, 100 volts 10,000 volts yes 10,000 volts let's test this one. Oh, that's the uh, semiconductive layer on it I think for that, did that one would actually handle this it can't uh, even handle 100 kV, nay, 10 kV. That's on the end. No, that's actually not conducting. This is actually like a capacitor because this is actually a semiconductive layer on it. So that's actually like act as a capacitor. So yes, let's test the other one. Actually, I think I'm going to lower down the voltage a bit. Let's put on 50 volts. Let's try again. Let's see what's on arcing. Now I'm going to test this other one. And that this will be 5 kV. Nothing happens. So yes, let's crank up the voltage a bit. Now we'll then take it to 10 kV. That's again 10 kV. Let's see what happens with this one. Still nothing. Sparking away, but this one actually, I'm impressed with that. Can I have 10 kV? Says so yes, 120 volts US voltage. Says so that's 12 kV, a bit longer sparks. She cracks a lot, but still can handle 12 kV. So 
it's 150 volts so it's our 15 kV look at those and this is what the, this cable actually is rated for <laughs> holy crap did you saw this that bloody cable is actually rated for that how the hell can it handle it it can handle if it's there but I'm disappointed let's, let's test out one I think this fire wins but this one loses I didn't expect that I expected that this fire actually could handle that voltage Such acts as a big capacitor and that sparks everywhere and suddenly it breaks down. Let's see what a smaller wire can handle. Let's try 180, 18 kV. Now it's nothing happening. Some corona. Yes, there it breaks down. It can't handle 18 kV. Oh, that's bright. Oh, it stinks. So, yes. That was some testing. And that's actually break down completely there. But yes, I'm sure we disappointed with this one. Thanks for watching.